We will in first step six insert the lookup table. B5 is the header. Second header is in C6. Let's go to our sheet. Enter in B5. Score. Then grade. F. D. We are constructing this lookup table vertically. A. Then, F is from 0, the range of F is from 0 to F, to 50, sorry. Then from 50 to 60 is D. 60 to 70 is B. From 70 to 85 is A. Maybe your current grading strategy is different, so you have to construct this to suit your strategy. Step 7, we will insert the VLOOKUP table. We have a problem here. That's why in step 8, I will show you how to fix up this error. First, we go to insert function, then all, our function starts with V, so we hit V on the keyboard, and scroll down, we need the VLOOKUP, this is the function we are looking at, looking for, because we constructed our table vertically. Okay. The lookup value is our final mark. So, it's 55. We highlight the cell, which is in G5. Then, our table array is where we enter the lookup table in sheet 2. So, we highlight the table, but forget the data headers. Don't highlight them. The column index is 2 because the grades are located on the second column of our table. Then leave this blank or write true. This is just for sorting purposes, to sort it in, 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 in ascending order. Okay, now this is D. Copy the formula to the rest of the students. Let's take a look. Here we have a problem. It says an error message saying not available. Why? The table is in B6 to C10. It's, there is an increment here. B8, C12. B9 to C13. Let's see what, what's in B9 and C13. B9 to C13. Columns 11, 12, and 13 are empty. That's why the columns in C th uh, the row C th the 13th row is empty. That's why it gave me an error. So I need to fix this and make it an absolute reference by hitting the F4 on the keyboard. Then I have these dollar signs which makes the reference absolute, and now I copy the formula to the rest of the students. The error is fixed.